everyone welcome back to another video tutorial from smart biology tricks so in this video lecture we are going to discuss about molarity and millimolarity formula and how can we prepare the solutions right so if you are a, a research scholar if you are a, a life science back background student you have definitely have come across with uh, different uh, chemical preparations right in your maybe in your practical experiments or uh, during the project time you might have asked you to prepare some solutions with the molarity concentrations right so there are some formulas different formulas that will make you uh, confusion right so there is a simple formula for uh, molarity calculation is there so we will discuss that simple formula so that we can prepare all the different types of chemicals with a different molarity right so for this we need to understand some of the things of the uh, some informations of the chemicals right so for calculating molarity of any chemical first we need uh, the molecular weight of the chemical right so molecular every molecular every every chemical is having a specific molecular weight right so that molecular weight where you can find you can find it in the back side of the chemical box itself right so or else if you couldn't uh, find the value you can do google then you, you you will get the values of each and every chemicals and their molecular weight right so a molecular weight will be that right so uh, we will take with an example so in this example uh, let us talk about the preparation of two molarity NaOH right so we are asked to prepare two molar sodium hydroxide solution right so that only we are going to discuss now so we need to know the molecular weight of the sodium hydroxide right and we need to know how much volume we need to prepare so that should be definitely will be noted in your protocol so we need required volume how much volume right how much uh, liter or ml that we need to prepare that value we need to know and also we need another one important value is required concentration so required concentration means if the if you have been asked to prepare two molar means this is the concentration in case if it is 2.5 you have to put the 2.5 value here right so this whole value should be divided by 1000 understand so you need to know the molecular weight so every chemical is having individual molecular weights in our example sodium hydroxide we have taken so molecular weight of this sodium hydroxide is 40 so exactly 39.99 you will get some value will be there but it is considered as a 40 right and next one is record volume say for example 2 molar NaOH you have, we have to prepare for uh, 500 ml that means half liter we have to prepare right okay so that value the numerical value you have to put here and record concentration the record concentration is nothing it is 2 right so this should be the value should be divided by 1000 right so we have to simplify the values so you will get the value right the exact chemical in the weight that how much you have to prepare right so we will uh, remove all the zeros based on the numbers here so multiply this 4 into 5 20 20 into 2 40 so this means 40 gram of sodium hydroxide you have to take right with the um, um, what to say you have to weigh the chemical you have to take 40 gram of the powder or pellet right so whatever the nature of the chemical if, if, if it is a powdered chemical means you have to prepare 40 gram of the you have to take 40 gram of the powder and you have to dissolve this in 500 ml of distilled water 500 ml of distilled water you have to take so in that distilled water you have to prepare right some protocol they will mention in what solution you have to mix it right in that case you have to take the specific solution and you have to take 40 gram of the sodium hydroxide and you have to mix it so it is very simple the only thing is you have to understand the formula just to memorize the formula it is very simple molecular weight of the chemical into required volume into required concentration right so every chemical is having specific molecular weight that molecular weight you have to understand and then record volume how much volume we need that you know and record concentration concentration is nothing it, it, in the question itself it has been present and divided by thousand so if you simplify you will get the value that much amount of chemical you have to measure 
and uh, you have to go to dissolve with the finite ml of water if they haven't uh, mentioned the solution you have to mix it with the distilled water if they have in a specific condition if they ask you to mix with a specific solution you have to take that much finite ml of solution and you have to mix it it is very simple so so this is a molarity calculation i hope you have understood right so next we will discuss millimolar formula generally you will be asked to prepare millimolar calculation in some procedures right so if you understand the molarity calculation millimolar calculation is very simple so only thing is you are going to add one extra 1000 right so here right so this is the millimolar formula right so you you know the molecular weight of the chemical and record volume you know the you know the concentration of the required chemical and uh, 1000 into 1000 right so the same uh, example we have we can take here two molar uh, sodium hydroxide for 500 ml but here it is two millimolar right so we have to prepare for millimolar so very fine amount only you will get compared than the molarity right so we have to put another 1000 here so if if you simplify so what you got for the molarity calculation you got 40 right so you got 40 for molarity so another 1000 you have to divide the value of molarity into with uh, another 1000 so you will get 0.0.040 right so we can we can use this value on two decimal only we can use 0.04 gram of the NaOH sodium hydroxide you have to measure and you have to dissolve with 500 ml of distilled water understand so it is very simple if you know the formula of molarity calculation you are in 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 addition to the molarity calculation formula you are going to add another 1000 and then you are uh, simplifying the values and you will get the one uh, result you will get so that much amount of sodium hydroxide you have to take and dissolve with the 500 record volume 500 ml of distilled water in case of any specific solution you go for the specific solution so this is how you have to prepare millimolar and molarity chemicals chemical preparations right so now you have understood the simple calculations of molarity and millimolar calculations so in the next class we will discuss about the normality preparations right so stay tuned thank you